everyone, thank you for joining me yet again. I want to start off by apologising just simply because I've filmed so much stuff recently. I've got about five videos worth of video waiting to be edited um, and there's a lot of people in these videos that are waiting for them to come out as well because they want to see it. Well, I just feel like this video needed to come out first because it feels like the most appropriate time to do it. Um, especially because in videos that will be coming out soon, there will be other people talking in my videos whilst I'm in the shop and I do a lot of editing with my videos for a certain reason and I'll explain why now. Okay, so after I've basically finished this sentence, I'm gonna be, what I'm pretty much gonna do is from from the end of it, I will, I'm not, I'm gonna try and not edit the video uh, between gaps in, in me talking and things like that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna record, okay? So we'll do that now. So basically, uh, um, a lot of my videos, I have to do a lot of editing. Where I, well, you can you can obviously see I, I have a twitch in my right eye. Um, whenever I'm nervous, whenever I'm scared, whenever I'm excited, um, don't tell that. I think you're going to take it. Um, um, any kind of emotional, um, angry, upset, um, it tends to flare up. I have stints where it's really bad, and then, some, and then I'll have a couple of few weeks where it's okay. But then sometimes, like once every few months, it'll go really badly where it's that bad that I can hardly talk. You'll find from my early videos. to my videos even now. Before I film, I twitch. I have to twitch first because it's like getting it out of the way before I start talking. And obviously, even though I've been doing this for about seven months now, I still get nervous and I still get very nervous doing it around people. Um, and I get nervous meeting people, especially when I've got a camera in my hand. Um, uh, and now I'm doing things like car reviews and being in the car with people and being in places with people where other people are talking and I'm still in the shot. Obviously, whilst other people are talking, I might be twitching. And that's something that you guys have never seen. I don't edit it out because I'm ashamed of it. I edit it out just simply because of the fact my videos will be twice as long because they'd be full of me twitching. And I feel that it takes away the what the video is about because you'd be distracted by that even though i'm doing it every day it still distracts me it makes me feel uncomfortable looking at it um i can't imagine what it's like for people that don't have a twitch and they then they see it constantly so mm -mm. that's why i wanted to bring that up now just because i didn't want it to be I wouldn't say it'd be a shock, but something that I, oh, I, I didn't know he had a Twitch, that kind of thing. I mean, even now, talking about it, you can probably tell that I've only looked at the camera just simply because of anxiety about it or anxiety in general to do with socialising. So, but doing this, doing YouTube has helped me so much with it. It's helped me overcome it. Even though I might be twitching just as much, it's helped me overcome speaking to people, having conversations, talking to new people. Uh, but I need to do this video as well as a reminder for myself, just simply because when I was at Japfest, I have to thank um, JDM Fresh so much for coming up to me and talking to me whilst I was looking around their car. Because if they didn't, I, pro I probably wouldn't have had the balls to go and speak to them. Um, there were a couple of other YouTubers, wow, well, I just spat everywhere. There were a couple of other YouTubers that I that I saw at Japfest, and I was like within a couple of meters away from him, and even like clocked them, and they possibly might have clocked me, but. The fact was, I didn't go up and speak to him, because I was nervous, and I saw it as, I know that nobody, 99% of people wouldn't be like this, where they're like, what are you doing talking to me? Like, what do you think you are? Because I still feel like a guy pretending to be a YouTuber. 
just a guy along, I'm just somebody who's trying to do it for fun and then there's these professionals that I'm surrounded by but really I shouldn't be seeing myself as lower than that and because I did that, because of how I felt with the twitching and everything, I missed opportunities to speak to people that those opportunities might not come up anytime soon. I don't. I saw State's error. I saw. I saw him at a uh, Jack Fest, and I'm kicking myself because he was hanging out. He was handing out tags as well. I could have got one of those. I could have sported him. I saw Boosted. He's got over a hundred thousand subscribers now. Um, coming over the bridge at Silverstone, and I kind of just like, just like shocked in aura. Just, why? Why did I do that? Why did I say hello? Uh, so like I said, this video is a bit of a reminder just to, for me to, when the situation like that comes up again, I need to stop myself and just say, what are you doing? Why are you wasting your time? Why are you wasting this opportunity? So I need to, I need to do that in future. So like I said, that's why I feel like this is the most appropriate time to do this video. I hope it was enlightening for you guys, you knowing a bit more about me. One, one less thing that you didn't know. Um, try and be as honest as possible. I want you guys to feel like I'm your friend, not somebody providing a service. I don't want it to be like that. Um, so now after this, I'm gonna get cracking, get more car videos out. Um, we've got Nathan's um, DC2 car review coming out. That's gonna be amazing. He's actually done the intro uh, for me for the video. We both did the filming and um, used my camera and slider and we used his tripod and he knew about all like, the lighting and the angles and things like that and what would look good and then he's edited it post for me um, so that we can have that beginning of his video so that's a nice touch because he's got that for his own video which is pretty cool. Um, Honda modified me, um, UK Honda group me, uh, they were both in the same day um, at the, uh, at the Honda Modify meet, we actually went in Kieran's DC5 Integra um, and we also went in FK2 uh, Civic Type R so that's going to be awesome. I'll probably put those little mini reviews in a separate video to the meet so that, they're not, that it's not too long uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that now. Um, so thanks again for watching. You know I really do appreciate it. Um, please like and subscribe if you do. Um, enjoy my videos and you want to see any more videos, uh, please click that little bell button so that it reminds you when I'm uploading another one as well. So thanks again for watching guys and like I always say, I'm just kidding, enjoy the rest of your day, bye. Yeah. <laughs>